making her think I got it all figured out and not giving her the whole truth. So men, if we're doing this, if we're living this life, we're not only hurting ourselves, we're hurting the women potentially that love us. So I hope that I can help you while, by me doing this. Like I'm, I, my ego's gone, I'm done. I'm starting over. Because if my son sees this, I want him to be free and not have to try to live to these expectations. Hello everyone, it's me, Melissa from The Ranting Shop, and I decided to step in quickly to speak on a situation that is quite shocking, but at the end of the day, it's nothing that is that surprising within the black community, and it has to do with Rashid. We all know Rashid from Ready to Love, and we know Simone from Ready to Love. Now, we didn't quite see their love story on their seasons, but we saw it play out outside of it and they decided to formulate a show together on youtube called ages and stages where they've been able to keep the momentum going from their time on ready to love which not many people are able to do because after that those 15 minutes if you're unable to quickly translate it into other things it is forgotten along with your time on the show so they were able to capitalize on that really well and have been able to keep that momentum going up until today, right? Which has always surprised me because I'm always thinking, okay, so outside of Ready to Love, what are they possibly going to be able to talk about? But they've been able to do that. So I commend them on that. And we saw that Simone and him got engaged on i believe the most recent season of ready to love which is the last season the miami season and everything looked great everything looked amazing we were so happy and congratulatory because we knew where they came from and they made it work and it's been working and it seemed successful right well that's not so true because rashid took to social media to let us know that he's been deceiving us as well as other people when it came to him and who he really is. Now, first of all, essentially what it came down to was his ego and his need for validation. He needed people to admire him. He needed people to praise him. He needed people to put him on a pedestal. He needed people to look at him as the epitome of what, I guess, a black su successful man should be, right? And by, you know, wanting and needing that validation so much, he decided, you know what, let me keep up this facade that I have it all going and everything's perfect when it really wasn't. So, number one... We learned that his ego and his need for validation caused him to deceive, right? Now, he didn't only deceive us, the viewers, but he also deceived Simone, his fiance, And they're planning a wedding. So she's probably thinking, and remember on the show, she was really big about a man being able to financially support her and the family. So I just knew that this would be a deal breaker for her but it's really funny to me it's interesting rather that simone who is a person that is always digging into stuff and doing detective work and figuring out truths and untruths about other people like she did with jeffrey like she did with the 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 naya and Derek jackson it's really interesting that she had no clue or it's hard to believe that she had no clue that rashid was struggling financially right i think she probably knew she just didn't know it was this bad you know but she wanted to give him a chance because she fell in love with him and beyond that i guess he's a good guy right so he lied to simone and the wedding was evidently called off and he speaks about how he set up basically this extravagant wedding idea and these big wedding plans with simone making her feel like wow my guy has it you know so there's nothing for me to worry about little does she know he's just trying to keep up the facade 
because he wants to be liked, he wants to be admired, he wants to be seen as the boss, the man, the this. So when she realized that he didn't have it like he said he did, she called off the wedding. Now the way Rashid is making it seem, it's as if he's going to try to salvage the situation with Simone. But I just don't know if that's going to be a successful venture because he's really deep in debt. He is $250,000 in debt. And I feel like a lot of what kept him in debt is his need to want to brag or his need to want to give off this the facade to people like he was living the life. At the end of the day, you guys... This is really prominent within the black community where we feel the need to have to keep up with the Joneses. We feel the need to have to make people believe that we have it financially because of our egos, because of our not wanting to be vulnerable, not wanting to be to live in reality. We love the delusion and we love being fed the delusion, you know, that we created, which is crazy. But. The way that he was able to do that is just crazy to me. It became a cycle of, oh, let me get this flashy car. Oh, oh my gosh, I can't afford it. But I'm going to get money here. I'm going to use it to afford it. Then I'm going to buy another one and use that to afford it and buy another one and use something else to afford it. When he knew he didn't have it, you know. Now, he calls himself a narcissist many times. And he said that essentially the way the reason why he calls himself a narcissist is because that need that that he said he had a such I mean he had such a big need for validation. He had a big need to be the man in charge, the alpha man, the top man. You know, and the funny thing about it is when I would watch the interaction with Rashid and Simone, I got the impression that he was very egotistical. So that part didn't shock me. I always got the impression that Simone had to walk on eggshells when it came to him. Because something about him made me feel like he was easily offended. Right? And I wasn't wrong. He was a very, is a very insecure man who tried to use the facade of being good financially to cure his insecurities but it didn't do that it ended up it ended up hurting him and doing nothing to other people because as far as i'm concerned as a viewer whatever you got in your bank account has nothing to do with me and it has nothing to do with my quality of life like it's not gonna make me or break me regardless of how much money you have or don't have you know um and so he decided to do this thing and make this confession because he was tired of lying and fronting. And I feel like because he's, he now understands that his behavior has, one, cost him his fiancée, who he admires and who he values. It's cost him his happiness. It's cost him his livelihood. It's cost him his comfortability it's cost him everything you know and i feel like this is absolutely a mental disease that we tend to suffer with where we feel as if other people validates us nobody validates you you should validate yourself you should feel whole within yourself you know you should feel like you're enough and that's his biggest issue he didn't feel like he was enough you know um but what I will say is, I have to commend him for coming on a public platform and laying it all out and telling us this is what it is. And despite what may come from it, I've rid myself of the burden of having to keep up with this facade. I've let it out. I feel free. The weight has been reduced. And now I can work on building myself back up. And that's how I know that he finally realizes 
that it's something that he has to do not only for himself but for his child that's looking up to him right and for any other woman or person that comes into his life so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below the summary of it all is Rashid is a liar Simone found out their wedding was called off let me know in the comment section if you're surprised let me know if you feel as if Rashid will be able to salvage his relationship let me know in the comment section if you commend him or if you feel like your perception of him has changed like subscribe and see you guys next time bye bye